Welcome viewer and welcome to Art History. My name is Daniel Ndungu from SWS Technical Training Institute and we are taking on electrical installation. Last time uh, we discussed about safety and uh, we found out that uh, due to the nature of electrical energy being uh, risky, uh, we need to take some steps to allow uh, or to reduce the risk of uh, the, to reduce the, the risk of electric shock. Now let us see uh, what is electric shock. Uh, electric shock is when ca current flows through your body and in a one way or another it immobilizes you. And uh, because of that uh, there is a need uh, to reduce uh, the chances of an electric shock. And we said that electric shock is when uh, you touch a life part and whereby current flows through your body. So we see some of the steps that has been taken uh, by the industry to reduce uh, the risk of electric shock. Number one. Number one is earthing. Uh, earthing uh, is simply connection of all exposed metal work of the installation uh, to the general mass of the earth. Uh, naturally, the general mass of the earth uh, is at a zero potential. So uh, when anything is connected to the general mass of the earth, it is going to be at uh, zero potential, meaning that uh, it is not it is not life or it cannot be life. Uh, this is because all metal parts all metal parts uh, have the chance or all metal parts can be electrically charged and when they are electrically charged uh, they assume a potential and if you come into contact with those metal parts then you are going to get an electric shock and uh, that one might not be a very pleasant uh, experience. So by earthing, uh, we make sure that all uh, exposed metal, metal parts forming part of the installation or is part of the installation, be it the equipment or any metallic part or any metallic framework in an installation uh, is supposed to be at zero potential. And uh, how do we do this? Now, what, this is what happens. When you have an installation uh, whereby you have uh, maybe something like a cooker or electric iron, uh, this, th this equipment, though they are using current, uh, they, have a met uh, they have a metallic body or they have a metallic body. So we have the uh, they have a metallic body or they have a flame that is made of metal and uh, from what we know is that all metallic part can be electrically charged so uh, we have to take caution so that even if these metallic parts are uh, electrically charged uh, you can, they, they remain at zero potential. This is what is done. All the metallic part uh, is connected to it is connected to the to the general mass of the earth uh, via uh, a C PC a CPC and and add electrode uh, such that uh, the metallic part of the equipment will always remain at zero potential meaning that uh, they reduce the, uh, the, the risk of 
the part being electrically charged and therefore uh, uh, giving an electric choke. So the other uh, the other thing that is done, number two. The other part uh, is the use of uh, protection gear. And uh, here we use fuses and MCB. Now, this is what happens. When you have uh, an electric fault, whereby the life conductor is in contact with, uh, with the metallic part of the equipment, what should happen is that there should be a very, uh, a very low resistance pad uh, to pass this current. And once the current is passed, uh, the protection equipment, the protection equipment that is either or either the fuse or the MCB should operate. And once it operates, it should isolate. Uh, it should isolate the. Forty part should isolate the forty part uh, such that you don't get uh, the metallic casing or the metallic framework being electrically charged because uh, the, the protection has operated and uh, the MCB has isolated the forty part and by doing so uh, we reduce uh, the risk of an electric shock and this is how uh, the earthing should be done. This is how the adding should be done. Uh, this is what should be understood. This uh, is a transformer from the authority supplying us with power. Uh, there are several fuses and uh, uh, circuit breakers in the way, so they are presented by that one fuse. Then we have a neutral link, and uh, this is the equipment. Would it be? Uh, let's take an example a cooker. So, if by any chance the life part uh, touches the metallic housing of the equipment, what should happen is that uh, because the equipment is earth, a uh, current will flow through the uh, earth uh, electro, through the CPC, um, should flow through the CPC uh, to the earth read and from the earth read uh, to the earth electrode and the other electrode is connected to the general mass of the earth so the current will flow through this path and goes back to the authorities uh, electrode and back to the neutral point by doing this uh, we'll have short-circuited uh, the live conductor and because uh, when you short circuit there is a very high amount of current that will flow uh, that amount of current will be able to operate the fuse 
or the circuit breaker. And by doing that, what would happen is that the fuse will get broken. And once it is broken, the foot, the forte equipment is isolated. And uh, even if somebody touches here, they cannot get an electric shock simply because the one the potential of this metallic part is always at zero potential so they are not in uh, life if they are not in they are not in any risk of uh, being on a life conductor so it remains like true and then uh, it also uh, within a very short time the fuse or the circuit breaker will operate and isolate the forte uh, part and by that uh, the person who is using the cooker remains very safe there are things that uh, should be noted by consumers and uh, one of them is that they should always ensure that uh, the installation they are working on uh, for power circuit and all other equipment that are using electrical energy uh, they should have an earth connection have an earth connection uh, that is working that is uh, working and uh, you should get a qualified technician to check whether your installation has a proper earthing system uh, so that in case of such an effort uh, the person who is using the cooker or any other equipment uh, remains very safe and is not exposed to unnecessary risks of an electric shock. So uh, the other thing should be, uh, other than a working connection, ensure that the earth, earth read uh, is okay, and also ensure that the earth electrode is properly connected to the earth read and the earth read is connected to the cpc and then you have uh, a very proper system uh, that is safe so uh, that's what or that is uh, what as consumers of electrical energy should ensure before uh, operating uh, electrical equipment that's uh, uh, what should be ensured the other issue should be on uh, the protection or the protecting equipment that is the fuses and the circuit breakers uh, the circuit breakers have no problem because uh, there is no risk of someone is going to tamper with them but when it comes to fuses uh, most of the uh, consumers uh, they don't follow the proper uh, routine of uh, replacing the fuse they just take uh, a bare copper wire just take a copper and they just get uh, a copper wire and replace the fuse uh, this is very dangerous because the copper wire um, may, 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 be, may, may not be able to uh, isolate the foot in case of a, a, a short circuit or another foot like this that we are seeing here what the copper wire does is copper wire is a good conductor is a good conductor and, and as such uh, even if it is carrying uh, a high current it might not be able to uh, disconnect the circuit so what should happen is if the fuse is blown for one reason or another make sure that you either get the correct fuse wire or replace with uh, a, an equivalent uh, cartridge uh, type fuse. This will ensure that uh, the safety 
of the installation is still uh, good. Now, this is what would happen. If you don't replace this fuse with a proper fuse, probably you use a copper wire. And there is such a scenario. What would happen is that uh, the current flowing uh, will not be disconnected. It's not going to be disconnected because the fuse is not working. So chances are that in the process of current flowing, the earth electrode the, at the consumer level and at the authorities level, uh, there might be some resistance. And because of this resistance, what would probably happen is that uh, uh, maybe you have a current of maybe 10 amperes uh, flowing, or let's say 50 amperes. Let's say 60 amperes. Now, if you have a current of 60 amperes and the electrode here has maybe a resistance of 1 ohm, and uh, uh, this one also has a resistance of maybe 1 ohm, the total circuit will have 2 ohms. Now, uh, this would be your potential, the, the cooker that you are trying to protect, not to give an electric shock, will not be at zero potential because uh, we know from Ohm's law, I is equal to V over R. Now, V is given by I R. So, if you have a current of 60 amperes uh, times 2 ohms, you get 60 times 2, which will give you 120 volts. Now, this 120 volts will be the voltage at your, uh, your metallic part. And this 120 uh, can be dangerous. And this one we are just giving an example. The other electrode could be even higher. And uh, it has been seen that some of the other electrode has a higher resistance as up to 10 ohms. And if the other side, this side has another 10, or let's assume that it has another 10, you'll get that uh, the, the potential uh, of our metallic part here definitely will be quite high. It might be high as uh, 200 and 40 volts, which uh, is quite risky. So uh, it is always uh, important that make sure that the fuse that you are going to uh, protect your equipment is uh, is of the proper or is of the uh, designed value, uh, so that we avoid a rise of potential on our uh, protected equipment. That is the the metallic part of the equipment. And we have it uh, like so. So ensure that if you want the f you, if you want to protect your installation, if the fuse is rated maybe 20 amperes for a particular uh, circuit, ensure that you get a fuse that is uh, rated the same. So uh, to conclude, we are saying that uh, uh, safety begins with us. And because it is inevitable, we cannot, uh, we, 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 we like and we cannot do without electrical energy. It is good practice that we take caution so that uh, we reduce the chances of an electric shock, which is a very uh, unpleasant experience uh, for those who have not uh, experienced it. And we can do it by ensuring that our installation are, first of all, act and secondary, we use the proper fuses and circuit breaker so that uh, we ensure that our metallic part of the equipment remains at zero potential without any risk. And with that, uh, we come to the end of the program. I was your presenter, Daniel Dongo, and stay tuned. <laughs>